you're at the airport and you go to baggage claim. Minutes pass and you realize your luggage is not there. New data from the U.S. Department of Transportation shows nearly 220,000 bags were either lost, damaged, delayed, or stolen last year. For Americans relying on daily prescriptions, losing them while traveling can be very dangerous. Uh, you know, depending on the medication, some of these medications have very strict uh, timeliness requirements to them. You know, think of a blood thinner or a, a seizure medication where missing a dose or two could really have catastrophic uh, consequences. Dr. Colin Bannis is the chief medical officer for Dr. First, an innovative IT company with an origin in e-prescribing. He says travelers stranded without their medication can enter a renewal request through various apps like iPrescribe that will notify their doctor of the refill. He says the traveler can then pick up their prescription at a pharmacy in the destination of their choice. The cool thing about what's happened in the last decade with the, how we've gone so digital in healthcare is that Pretty much from anywhere at any time, providers have the ability to fulfill those requests. So in other words, uh, you know, I myself could be on vacation as a provider or I could be at my kid's soccer game and I could get these messages from a, a stranded patient and I could use technology to fulfill those prescriptions without ever having to access a computer or contact the pharmacy. In addition to utilizing technology, Dr. Bannis recommends the following for summer travelers. Keep your medications with you. Store them in your carry-on or purse. Have a complete list of your medications. This is in case you need to share them with another care provider during your time away from home. Also, be mindful of how you store your medications. For example, you don't want to leave them in a hot car because you're spending a day at the beach when you arrive to your destination. You're going to want to store them as you would when you're at home. I think uh, losing your luggage is probably a big fear any traveler has. Yeah. I've never lost my luggage, but I have gone on trips, even one internationally, where someone lost their luggage and you can only imagine how stressful that is. And even driving my car, I've been on a trip with a family member who left their medication medication, their diabetes medication at the house mm. states away. And that was a stressful situation trying to get that figured out. So the fact that you can do this virtually through an app without having to get on the phone, yeah. fax anyone, I think that reduces a lot of stress. They lost my luggage one time in my life, but they found it. And then this is 20 years ago when times were different, but I was coming to see my parents from Tampa. We're, I'm in Mount Airy. Mm -hmm. And so you fly into Greensboro, right? And they flew the luggage, found the luggage, got it back to Greensboro and then drove it to Mount Airy. And wow. So back in those days, I guess that was yeah. standard. Good luck now. Yeah. That's why I always I put a like a, an air tag in my luggage mm -hmm. if oh, I'm checking smart. it, so at least I know where it is. So you know, sometimes I've I've had luggage lost several times, and sometimes oh, really? the airline will say, "Well, we're not sure where it is." I say, well, "I know exactly." <laughs> I where can it tell is. you where it I is. I can send you a screenshot of where it's located at your airport That's right now. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, but I, I I learned that trick from I think it was Tanya did a two once yeah, ago story she did. on it and. Never again Gosh, will I, I need to do check that. a bag without putting something like that yeah. in it. And if you can bring a carry-on, that's always easy so you know that you have it yes. yeah. right with you. Take your medications with you. All right, Alrighty. we're coming back.